The Leland Robotics T-Shirt Cannon launches soft projectiles using compressed air. The trigger valve, air compressors, and staged recompression are all controlled automatically, making this robot a great addition to any school rally or sporting event. The Cannon operates on two main physics concepts, ballistics and fluid dynamics. Ballistics, or projectile motion, is the study of objects in freefall, including man-made satellites and, of course, our t-shirt. So if anyone says the t-shirt's flying, technically, they'd be wrong. As you can see when the barrel falls off, both the tethered bottle and the barrel fall at about the same rate. The t-shirt which leaves the frame also falls at about the same rate. The only difference among these three are their initial upward velocities. Trajectories are determined by launch angle, or the ratio between initial vertical and horizontal velocities. The cannon's launch angle is controlled by a robotic arm with a single degree of motion. Fluid dynamics is the study of movement of liquids or gases. In our case, compressed air is used to fire the t-shirt, and whatever, out of a cylindrical barrel. But first, here's how the air is handled. The air is compressed in one of two onboard compressors, and then stored at high pressure in aluminum tanks. The air is then sent to a regulator where it's regulated down to a lower firing pressure. The low pressure air is then sent to a so-called firing chamber, a misnomer carried over from the air cannon's combustion-powered cousins. Then the valve is opened, releasing the air to push against the bottle. The air pushes equally against the barrel and bottle, but the bottle's lower inertia gives and it shoves the t-shirt down range. This results in cannon kickback. So change the launch angle and play with the pressure. Your shot could be blocked by an inanimate object or you could land it on the moon. Or maybe the roof.